is Moon Pie Tarot doing your next 10 days love reading. This will be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. As you know, some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just take what fits, leave the rest. Please do hit like and subscribe on my channel. And if you want to get a personal reading from me, there's a link in the description box below where you can just click that link. It will take you right to my booking site. You can purchase your reading from me. Um, you can also follow me on Instagram at Moon Pie Tarot. Okay. Um, so yeah, we're going to take a look. This is the next 10 days. So from the time you click on the video going forward, but remember time's fluid. Energy can play out at any time. Um, so this is here, your person who you may be thinking of, and then we're going to take a look at the overall energies for you, Gemini, for the next 10 days. Okay. All right, Spirit. What are Spirit? What are the messages? What does Gemini need to know? What do they need to be aware of in the next 10 days for love? You can also, you guys, don't forget, um, if you didn't know, I'm uploading daily readings as well. They're collective readings for all signs. So if you just want a little more of the daily energy, just um, go to my channel and you'll see the dailies up there. Oh, okay, stuff's flying. Hold on. Wow. Hope and wisdom. That's amazing. Okay. Let's take a look at this here. Okay, so you have hope. Hope is a good thing. Something here for you to be hopeful about, that's for sure. I mean, that's pretty easy. Um, not sure what is going on in your life at this time, but uh, this is a 17 card. So what this card represents here is the star, okay? Renewal. Um, there's an energy here of like, somebody might be in a public eye or public figure, you or another person, um, or becoming or coming into the light, coming into recognition of some sort. Um, there's also inner clarity. There's a miracle, um, having faith, that kind of thing. Um, this is a wish card, okay? And then you also have wisdom. <laughs> Look at this. Um, so there's something also going on here. There's hope for marriage for some of you. Um, this is about originality, creativity, um, traditions, conventional expectations, and conforming, okay? Um, wow. Some of you are hoping that there will be like a conventional relationship or marriage or something that can be attained. Um, this is a love reading, so I'm going to focus mostly on how that relates to love, but I feel like somebody here, you're thinking perhaps about proposing to someone or receiving a proposal or just thinking about marriage altogether. Hopeful. Staying hopeful about this, about you and another person coming into union. You and your person, there's triumph, power, and moving on, but it's not moving on and away from. This is like a necessary transition that's happening here. For some of you with a Leo, could be a Taurus, could be an Aquarius. Um, this is really like overcoming something. Somebody's overcoming something and actually taking the steps, overcoming some fears as well. It's like time. <laughs> taking some steps to do something here, to be in this position of like being a win, like a win-win kind of thing, okay? Um, this is like protection, but I feel there's movement happening here. There's like a major change that's happening here. Action and change to, to have a victory is how I feel. To come into this position of like being a winner, right? It might be you. It, it, it could be you and your person. I just feel like for a lot of you, like whatever a wish is or a wish that you're hoping to have or see through or something you're hoping in your life to come true, it almost feels like a dream come true. 
Some of you may need to move or relocate to have this happen. But being wise about this decision or being wise about taking these steps. Okay, so let's take a look at your person here, Gemini. Um, gosh, you know, I'm feeling very much with the tower and the sun clearing away the debris, you know, these old dilapidated buildings, clean slate, opening something up here. Breaking down what's been built and starting fresh. It's a freshness. I'm, I'm feeling like I'm actually, at first I was feeling, but now I'm smelling because I can feel that this stuff. I can feel it come on me. And I'm, it's the smell of like fresh linen. You know, when you take your clothes out of the dryer or your sheets or something, there's, I'm hearing fresh linen. Oh my gosh, I'm just hearing like some of you do need to change your sheets or will be needing to change your sheets. is going to be a lot of action, if you know what I mean. Um, for some of you, there could even be child or possibility. Okay, let's take a look here. I want to pull um, a clarifier. I don't want to pull it from here. I want to pull a clarifier for this. This tower. Oh, yeah. Look, he's laying in bed. Okay. <laughs> There's a physical thing happening here. I'm not going to lie. Definitely a physical intimacy happening here in the flesh. A lot of fun, joyfulness between you and another person. It could be for some of you, somebody new coming in here. If this isn't like someone from your past, I'm not picking up too much of a, a past thing, but it is possible or someone you're currently dealing with. Let's take a look at the sun. Wow. I'm telling you a lot of, uh, a lot of you, this has to do with male uh, virility an urge to create, have something new. Watch out. This is a very phallus symbol. If you're female or a male dealing with a male, like whatever it is, um, some of you may be trying to conceive, and I feel like it's going to happen. Positive news happening here, or someone you're connected to, okay? Um, they have the Two of Wands. That's at the center of the reading. So this person is like, it's waiting for results. Oh, it is so very much, Gemini, something here going on with that. Somebody's hoping for a child or hoping to come into some kind of like conventional committed relationship. Like somebody wants, it's, it's about conception, whether that's concept, physical conception through intimacy or conception or birth of a, a new lifestyle change or coming together, marriage, um, relocating, moving. This person is wanting this with you, whatever your situation is here, okay? Um, so again, waiting waiting for the right time, waiting for the results. Like It's like the urge, and it's a lot of urges, and is very positive about this, and is willing to take these steps and make these transitions and changes in life with you. Um, I'm feeling very powerful and you know, renewing something here, but can't do it just yet, right? The two of wands, it's a lot of like travel plans or having to make a decision about which path to go. Um, but it's going towards, you know, how to be in a luxury situation, how to be more independent, financially independent, uh, like self-sufficient, um, seeking uh, pleasures for self. But not just self, because the Six of Pentacles is a card of generosity and reciprocity and giving, um, almost in a charity, like giving to you to keep you um, in abundance, helping, wanting to give. Wow, beautiful. Being able to financially give or vice versa. I feel like this person, Gemini, has been thinking long and hard um, either about when 
to make a romantic proposal or get down on one knee or when if they would ever receive one from you vice versa okay depending depending on you know gender sex all that it doesn't matter like i said we're looking at energies not necessarily um you know male or female but it's like the thought is there and i feel like it comes somebody might have been indifferent to love in the past but now they're like overcoming that they're no longer being apathetic they're no longer feeling hopeless um making a decision about you know which what how to make an offer okay i feel like this person's kind of like the cups are there the opportunity seems to keep arriving and this person i just feel like everywhere they go they keep seeing like um, other couples who are getting married or having, you know, massive emotional changes or whatever it might be, whatever the offers are, like big life things they, they're seeing, people close to them having these changes, they're um, walking past the store and their eye catches a beautiful ring or something that reminds them of you or vice versa and massive life changes you know they're seeing people with children or grandchildren or you know buying new homes like whatever these things are okay and it's like it keeps coming and and maybe in the past they've always been kind of indifferent or just like oh that can't be for me that'll never happen or vice versa but like it keeps coming and coming and they keep getting signs and and i somebody here either you or they it's like finally i'm making that offer i'm changing making these transitions I'm, I'm you know putting the past behind going towards gemini male or female okay ready to make these changes um waiting for the right time okay so your person has at the center of the reading waiting for the right time to make this massive butterfly transformation make this massive change to face the fears and overcome whether that's relocating could have something to do with um somebody could be ill waiting for that person to you know like like it's a um like a terminal illness that, uh, that it's not a shocking kind of thing that comes it's like somebody's terminally ill and or something along those lines like it's like close to that time and waiting for that to happen before you know this blessing can come in or this this offer right because the ace of cups does represent sometimes a new baby or a new relationship or proposal or marriage okay so this time it could have a lot to do with you know when one cycle ends and a new one begins but again i feel like this person is staying in their power when it comes to you like they're not going to give up on something here leo energy for sure for some of you but um yeah self-love definitely this person i feel like in order to give love we must love ourselves right and i feel like this person's like ready and willing to give the unconditional love okay something to do with a pet for some of you it's getting a new pet after one passes okay um an animal like maybe a cat for some of you right getting a cat together or something i don't know i know people's pets are very important to them so that might resonate for someone um it's just a lot of courage <laughs> getting up the courage to make these changes And coming forward with this truth like hey i've been thinking about this and being um very logical with their with the intentions like being completely honest you know um seeing your self-sufficiency seeing that they have it as well and seeing like oh okay i don't feel this heavy burden um we can be together i don't have to like i don't know this whoever this person is you could be dealing with another air sign um you know all the signs are here on the table but whatever the issue is this person is feeling like you know hey 
power couple. That's what I just heard. Power, power couple. Working together, teamwork, making it work. But also being willing to give. They wanna, they wanna keep giving to you so that you can maintain, you know? Um, this person sees you as a little high maintenance or vice versa. Maybe you see them that way, but whatever the case may be, there's someone here is very high maintenance and there's a, a need and a desire to like keep contributing, but also something for those of you like wanting to have a child or take care of another animal or a pet, there is a, <laughs> they want to give. And I also feel like here with the three of cups, this is like, um, they want to maintain the connection with you because it's nice it's good it's like your friends as well very supportive energy they feel from you so yeah waiting for the right time seeing the all these signs and waiting for the right time to come forward and make this offer to you or just you know say to you hey let's do it i want to be together let's 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 confirm our love to one another in one way or another. All right, let's take a look here. Let's see what the messages of love. Oh, I took the easy way out. That just flew out. This person at one point in the past um, took advantage. I'm starting to understand our connection. <laughs> it's more than just two people who have a pet. It's deeper. You speak to me through music. Somebody here might be into music, sharing music. I want to tell you how I feel. This person's already know the answer. See, their intuition is telling them, Gemini, for you two to like seal the deal or move forward together. Obstacles, unhealed wounds are blocking forward movement. So that definitely played a role. Somebody may not be wanting to or may have not wanted to commit in the past because they were fearful. Maybe the way their parents were or other couples they've seen. There's like a lot of, oh, you know, shaky energy. You've learned the spiritual lesson. I feel like this person is really recognizing now or, you know, they've, they've come to terms with, oh, the reason why I didn't want to commit was because things from my past, right? Their intuition, like they're, they're tuned in. Unhealed wounds, okay? Time apart, some distance will help bring care, clarity. So this is not time apart from each other. Sometimes this can be, but what I'm feeling here is like you and your person need to spend some time away from others and get some one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> Go on some kind of vacation, somewhere sunny or something and, you know, spend some time together just one-on-one. -on -one. Wow, this is a twin flame. This is a twin flame connection oh the struggle we will be together again yep you guys might have been in separation for some of you were not together and now it's like coming back around again balance one person is giving too much in this relationship okay i'm not sure who that is but you know for some of you, it might have been threes a crowd. And I feel like that's kind of like coming to an end. I'm not predicting that someone's cheating. I'm saying if you already know that there was a third party thing. And listen, threes a crowd, um, it could just be you and your person and someone f being distracted by work or projects or, I don't know, addictions, things like that. It doesn't have to actually be a person. If you know for a fact there was another person, fine, that's your story. Healing old wounds and childhood issues. Okay. I wish things could be different. They do. And that's why they're coming forward with all this renewal and this hope to make things better between the two of you. Um, stability. This relationship can stand the test of time. And I really feel like this person is... Um, just getting all kinds of signs that it's it's time for them it's time it's it's like it's time 
That's what I'm hearing. Let me get um, Moonology messages for you. Oh, a time for healing, definitely. There's a lot of that going on here. Old wounds, healing, old wound healing unhealed wounds obstacles that's what's going on see this person i feel like was running away they were letting other things in their life distract them whatever it might have been right work whatever it is they were putting props in to distract them and say they were too busy because they have all these excuses but the, the truth of the matter is that they were afraid old wounds popping up reopening they're afraid to reopen those wounds they did those old wounds did not hear heal properly Okay, prosperity lies ahead though. See, there's good things coming forward for you, Gemini. You and your person. You're meant to be together. Look at the bigger picture. Okay, full moon in Sagittarius. So someone might be connected to someone, moon in Sagittarius, or it's you or Sagittarius, or connected to Taurus. Okay, or have moon in Taurus. See the bigger picture, Gemini. Don't focus on the details. It's time to release negativity someone could be connected to moon and scorpio or be moon and scorpio or scorpio um all right let's get a couple of um jesus messages here for you okay peace i leave with you my peace i give unto you john 14 27 somebody's birthday is the 14th or the 27th um I don't really know that scripture, but I'm going to leave that there for you so you can read about that if you wish to. Seek and you shall find Matthew 7, 7, okay? July 7th, someone has a birthday, or the number 777. Um, it's an odd number. You're not going to see that on a clock, but somebody's seeing it somewhere. You might have a receipt that shows up, 7, 7. Someone is born in um, 1977. I'm just hearing Pisces. Who's a Pisces? Okay. So we have a blue moon. Wow. And it's not a full moon. This is a crescent moon. Yeah, interesting. This moon has scales on it. As soon as that card went out, I just instantly, I'm feeling Piscean energy. And I think this is like a flag, isn't it? The moon and the star. Are you able to see that? Isn't there, if there's... I, I thought I've seen a flag with a moon and a star. I don't remember what flag it is. If you if you know and you want to leave a comment, go ahead. Um, but that's connected to somebody here, this moon and the star. I don't know if you can see it. Hopefully you can. Okay, it's like a flag, moon and the star. Okay, something about that connected to somebody here moon stars oh <laughs> two things somebody's a really big fan of watermelon whether it's a flavor or a candle uh, or you're sniffing a candle or there's watermelon or you have a watermelon candy in your mouth or gum or there's something here with um, watermelon or you and your person maybe like had a joke eating watermelon and spitting out the seeds at each other. Somebody must have done that. I don't know, it's an odd thing. But hey, to each their own. And there's also like a pizza person here. Somebody like eats pizza all the time. Pizza with um, black olives. That's what I'm seeing. Somebody likes pizza with black olives. <laughs> you might be eating that right now or just plain pizza. Some burn spots. What's this? Okay. Oh, a shirt with a heart on it. Okay. This is a blue shirt with a red heart, but somebody, I don't know, it's a child. It's either a child sitting next to you or somebody has like a shirt with red hearts or you have like a pillow that has like, a, it's like a shirt pillow, pillowcase shirt with red hearts or something, something like a blue and a red heart. Okay. Or you have a shirt like that or had one. Maybe you had one growing up. Okay, so some food stuff coming up here. I just saw this and I just, it was like glistening when I looked at it. So I feel like I'm supposed to tell you who is an avocado lover. 
Somebody loves it. What's going on with the food? Are you eating an avocado right now? You could be like scooping an avocado out or you having some food with avocado. Um, or, you know, maybe you're listening to this in a grocery store and squeezing some avocados, but somebody's a big avocado eater, eats very healthy, trying to get their fats in, doing a keto diet or something. And <laughs> if, if you're not sure where to get your fats, go for some avocado. I feel like the message they're trying to tell you. Share an avocado with someone. Interesting messages. So if that resonates for you, great. Um, again, it's the next 10 days, but if you want to get a personal reading from me, there's a link in the description box below. Just click on that link. It will take you to my booking site, and then you can schedule your uh, phone reading with me, okay? And uh, yeah, I will talk to you guys very soon. Please make sure you hit the like, share, and subscribe on the way out. Love you all very much, and I will speak to you very soon, Gemini. All right, take care.